Um, Dan Magic was the greatest guy ever. Um, he taught me a lot of what I know today about how to deal with people and what's important and what's not important. One of the great tourism trailblazers in Kentucky. And I have to say, Dan Manchin and Bill Samuels would be right up there at the top of my list in people who really understood the value of tourism and who understand it and, and really worked every day uh, to make things happen. Bill Samuels is a guy that pushes the envelope. Uh, and Dan was the same way. Whatever it is, Bill Samuels literally pushes the envelope to make it even more, uh, more exciting, more energizing, and more reflective of what we are in this community. Tourism is one of our top three industries in the state of Kentucky. Uh, and it's increasingly important, especially when you're looking at the economic situation we're in right, right now, when you have companies shedding jobs, if we can increase tourism and bring more visitors in and more visitor dollars to those local communities and the state coffers, uh, it means much, much more. And that's one of the things we're excited about with the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. What's special about Bill is that he understands the Bourbon Trail is about the big picture. He understands that it's not about Maker's Mark, that it's about all the distilleries. It's about the bourbon industry itself it, as a whole. So when he's out there promoting the bourbon trail, he's promoting the bourbon industry. He understands that as the tide rises, uh, it'll rise for all. It's the thing that we have needed for so long in Kentucky because uh, there is no reason, absolutely no reason, why the bourbon trail cannot outperform the uh, Napa Valley experience. In Napa, when it really started to work was when the community took it away from the wineries. When the wineries' job was to take care of content at their respective wineries and to hook up with each other. And that's the primary role of the bourbon distillers, to make sure that we have a great experience at every distillery and to make sure that we can hook people up together. But the overarching environment has to be created by the community. Bill Sanders looks for what's unique, looks for what's special, and then plays to our strengths. And that is the strength of this Commonwealth. That certainly is a strength for our community. And his guidance has now got us really not only thinking in that regard, but his leadership is taking us to a new level. He knows his strengths, and he knows his weaknesses. And he knows that when he gets into a collaboration, that those strengths and weaknesses will play. And he looks to bring out the strengths in other people. And that's really what makes him a distinctive leader. Unfortunately, my, my aerospace career was a disaster. Uh, and it wasn't from lack of effort. It was just lack of ability. And then when I came home to help Dad, he wouldn't let me anywhere near the distillery because of the fear I would blow it up, too. What does winning look like? That's Bill's question. If you've ever been around him for any period of time, you'll get that question. So by focusing on what does winning look like, people can set aside their differences and really get about uh, a common end goal. Bill Samuels is one of the rock stars of our industry. Uh, he is known, he and Maker's Mark and the signature Red Wax are known worldwide. Uh, as, as one of the icons of Kentucky bourbon. Certainly he gets us out of our comfort, comfort zone, like he did one day with me when he asked me to go help him buy a new suit for his derby entertaining. And we went down to the hub on West Market and I was able to pick out for him a pink la uh, lavender, actually, 12 button suit with matching lavender gaiters. I didn't think he'd wear it, and he did. It's that marketing genius of his uh, that uh, starts every morning and what he's going to wear and uh, every night uh, if the man sleeps uh, you know he goes to bed thinking what am I going to do tomorrow to help promote Maker's Mark in the bourbon industry. He doesn't see us as just another community here in the Midwest connecting uh, you know by expressways and airport and things of that nature. He sees us as a economic engine. He sees us as a brand this community as a brand, a true possibility city, and more often than not, we're successful as a result of his guidance. I can't think of a more deserving person for this Lifetime Achievement Award, not only for your involvement in the bourbon industry, but with education and promoting the Commonwealth as a tourism spot and just a great place to live. You deserve it. Cheers. This one's on us. Thank you, sir.